Technology advancements have also contributed to the big data movement as customer and operational data are now being generated and tracked in computer systems. Distributors are increasingly recognizing the importance of this data and helping them better serve customers and identify opportunities. More and more, distributors are using basic analytics to help them do things like calculate cost to serve, improve logistics, and track cost savings. But as far as big data, which many I spoke with defined a, as more of a creative, exploratory process involving much larger amounts of data, many distributors feel they're just not there yet. Several I spoke with said they're still struggling to overcome challenges with basic analytics, like getting data into a more useful form and finding the right people to interpret it for them. Distributors are thinking more strategically about inventory management in 2013. John Schriefeder of Effective Inventory Management says he's been getting more inquiries from distributors who want to get as lean as possible without affecting their customer service. But while this was the case last year, and certainly the year before as well, Street Feeder tells me that in the past, the impetus was fear. Now he believes distributors have left survival mode behind and have raised the bar for what they can do with inventory to affect their bottom lines. He says that this more aggressive approach to inventory management is showing itself in the increased respect inventory and procurement professionals seem to be getting. Related to inventory, distributors are also getting smarter about vending, and so are their customers. Fastenal is far outpacing its national competitors with its industrial vending program, but others, including MSC Industrial Supply and Granger, have integrated vending into their inventory management services for customers. When done right, vending embeds distributors at customer locations, growing loyalty and sales with existing customers. But there are challenges. Fastenal has acknowledged challenges with profitability in its vending programs. As a result, the distributor plans to fine tune the products available in the machines and centralize order picking for vending. It also recently announced it was going to slow down its implementation. It installed 11,000 new machines in the first half of 2013, which does not put it on pace to reach its 30,000 new machine goal by the end of 2013. Still, Fastenal remains far ahead of its competitors, touting a first mover advantage. The impact of this and other distributors focusing on vending as a growth strategy is yet to be seen. Brent Grover of Evergreen Consulting believes that Fastenal won't have the competitive advantage forever and that distributors of all sizes should test vending programs with critical customers, especially those that may be more vulnerable to competitors' vending options. Some distributors are simply staying away from vending as an option, depending on their product mixes or niche, but others have developed solutions of their own. You can read more about the latest on vending in the Distribution Trends Report.